We have a one-week summer institute, and um, it, it, it has to do a lot with our emphasis on um, um, working with teachers to emphasize object learning, to emphasize the use of primary documents or um, photographs or any, you know, anything that can, small children can really get their hands on. Um, using um, time and place, location, and biographies. and biographies. We spend one day at Gunston Hall learning about the Constitution, learning about a lot of American um, historical figures and, and as heroes and what their heroic attributes are along with their humanity. And um, then we spend a day um, at various Smithsonian museums. We've um, had a wonderful experience at the Postal Museum, um, at the um, National Museum of American History, at the Portrait Gallery, at American Art. And then the last day we have spent at uh, Mount Vernon, primarily focused on George Washington. And that has turned into a really special day because there's a, 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 obviously a large number of um, wonderful historical scholars on the subject of Washington. Um, but so many now have become very um, comfortable in using place, you know, using the, the mansion and the grounds to talk about Washington as a farmer and as a recorder and as a, a hero during the war and a leader that walked away from power. So we've got scholarly discussions going on after tours. And then finally, um, we've brought in some um, experts in primary education that take those George Washington lessons and bring teachers down around the floor, creating maps on a, um, you know, a shower curtain and doing mathematical exercises coming out of the lessons of where Washington's armies were, et cetera, et cetera. So really cross-curricular work and showing how that scholarship in, in one massive lesson can be brought to bear on, um, on math, on language arts, on social studies, and so on and so forth. And then we follow that up during the school year with two full-day uh, academic experiences like that. One of them we do um, at the National Museum of American Indian because they study the various uh, native cultures. And another one where we work with them full day in a, one of our high schools in their theater department with their theater coaches and sometimes their kids to teach the teachers how to become those, um, to become Martha Washington instead of talking about Martha Washington so that the every day is kind of an exciting theatrical production in a first grade classroom. Um, and then there are two book talks which happen after school, a three hour period where they sit down with a scholar and discuss the books that they've read. So the content and the teaching of historical thinking is done through really four different strands. Biographies, because so many of them are emphasized in our state required curriculum. Um, Object-based learning, because many of these primary kids we recognize can't read, but yet visually, and uh, are able to think historically, mm -hmm. teaching history through time and place, and we recognize that that whole idea of time and sequencing and chronological order is probably the hardest thing to teach primary kids, um, but using it in a way that makes it engaging and motivating. And then the fourth one is to teach history through art, music, and drama. And that's the content that we base um, this whole module for the K-3 folks on.